going to be removing the fretboard right now without even doing anything. You can see, you can hear the old glue cracking. I don't need to steam this because I don't want the wood to, to soften up and, and bend. And then when I, once I remove the actual fretboard, I'm going to clamp it to a flat board. So that way it doesn't uh, warp out. There's some sort of uh, thing there. All right. Well. All right, the glue is a. Uh, Pretty old and kind of uh, flaky, crystallized. And I'm not using a whole lot of force. I'm moving up slowly, very slowly. Well going. I'm gonna get this fretboard off so I can clamp it down flat. Up to about the 12th fret. I can feel it loosen up. Just gotta remember not to touch it. <sighs> Slow going. I don't know what kind of abuses this neck went through in the many years it just sat out on a guitar stand in the living room. Keep your guitars in cases. I mean, I'm a hypocrite on that. I have seven guitars just hanging out. I always envied that my wife needed only one bass. She was like, this is the perfect bass, and she stuck with it. She didn't have the uh, acquisition syndrome like I do, and like many of us do. Yes, this is taking a long time, but doing it right is better than a broken fingerboard. Oh, I mean, I still might break it because I don't know what I'm doing. I learned this on YouTube. What's it on, Dad? Check it out. Oops. I'm hearing the little wood, or not the wood, the glue do the thing, because that's not the wood cracking. I don't think it is, I should say. <laughs> Wee. Mm -hmm. 
It didn't move. Hmm? It didn't move on it. Good job. I feel it. I can feel it. I can see it. I hear that, and I'm barely pushing right now. I'm just wiggling. I want to make sure that the glue breaks and not the wood. Here we go. I don't even know what was causing that uh, catch. It was just the glue that's really well glued right there. I forgot that I was, I was like, whoa. I was going to make the invisible guitar have a little strum. That stripe down the middle there is this. Debris-ish sort of stuff. Instead of the, uh, instead of the wooden stripe, it doesn't continue. Past here, it's just <laughs> loose debris. There's the truss rod inside there. All right. Again, so I've clamped it on to a flat, straight piece to keep the fretboard or the fingerboard from doing weird things. So there's the neck joint. really isn't that much glue on it, which is probably why it's separated, besides the fact that it was terrible living conditions. Um, I could feel some glue. Not a whole lot. Not as much as I would expect. So, and I'm only lightly sanding this because I don't want to put any more shape or concave or anything into it. I'm just trying to knock the glue off. Um, Again, just knocking the glue off. So it's real dry and brittle. I mean, that's pretty much got it all off. There's a line down the center from the, from the truss rod cavity. So that's not that important to make perfect, but yeah, there's. That's just wood. There's no no glue. And I did not sand it hard. So it started off within life with not much glue. Anything we do now will be an improvement.
we're gonna do some glue cleanup and then we're gonna strip this off as you can tell from my shirt I had to go buy this just glaring orange shirt because I, I ended up painting and ruining a couple of shirts that I kind of liked so I was like no when bought this so there would be only one choice for painting something that I was not going to want to wear in any other way unless you know I was started a construction company or something I suppose